I think this is a unique opportunity. It's a generational change. Senator Cardin has served our state for nearly six decades so well. Uh, but now we have an opportunity to have uh, an election and have a senator with a bold, progressive vision. I think I have that, and that's what I'll be making my case to voters about. Of course, this is just beginning, and we don't know everybody who's in the running yet. But if this is a race with many other prominent politicians, what would set you apart? Well, again, I represent a million of the six million in the state. That's a good start. Uh, twice elected, one of the top vote getters. Um, and I think voters know my record here. And the job this. now is to get to Larry everyone Stafford across the state and share what I've done and my vision, voting. which again is a bold vision that we can all prosper together. I think that will be unique. I think having a young, bold progressive in this race will be a unique thing. Uh, and the message that we're sharing about shared prosperity will be unique. And, and that's what we're going to do and, and based on the work that I've done. So I'm confident that if we share that with as many Marylanders as possible, I'll be successful. Going forward, can you run while you are on the council or how does that work? Well, look, we run every four years while we're on the council. Uh, and I, I, President Biden's running this year. He's going to do his job. That's the way politics works. Um, I'm very committed to doing my job on the council. That will not uh, suffer in any way. I'm um, chair of the Education Committee. Priority number one over this next month is getting this budget passed, getting our stu students and our teachers and our schools the resources they need to thrive um, we're going to do those things and and that's part of the story that's connected you can't disconnect it i'm i'm running for the senate because of my work here in the county and my previous work as a civil rights lawyer and everything i've done it's all connected so i see them as tied together uh, and obviously job number one is to make sure i'm serving the residents of montgomery county and me and my team will continue to do that